everyone, welcome back to Spiritual Essence and it's time for another spiritual story time. The segment of my channel where I tell you about a spiritual story that happened to either me or someone I know and uh, it's pretty interesting and you know what, it may even inspire you in some way. So here we go. As you've seen in the title, I'm going to tell you about the one time I dealt with an actual demonic entity. Now, if you don't know what demons are, they're very, very negative spirits. And they hate humans. They hate us. They want to feed off of our energy, our negative energy, because they're weak. In nature, they are truly weak. Without us, they have no power. So that's why they try to scare us, that's why they try to hurt us, that's why they try to possess us, so that they can continue that suffering and have power over our souls. I had a friend from high school, and this is when I was still going to high school, and I've mentioned this friend before. He had the ability to reverse the blood in his veins, somehow, and heal himself pretty, you know, pretty quickly. Um, he practiced magic, like me, but uh, he didn't exactly have the best childhood. His dad was abusive, and uh, he didn't have a mom, and his dad was like verbally abusive, physically abusive, um, was always drinking, you know. He said when he was real young, a negative entity, a demon, attached itself to him and has been with him ever since. Now, the thing with demons is that the longer they stick with a person, the harder it is to uh, get rid of them. They start to bind with your very essence and aura as soon as it becomes like a part of you. Um, so I was like... Well, maybe there's a way I can help. I'm, I'm just learning about um, spirits and entities, but maybe there's some way I can help. He's like, I appreciate that, but I'm not sure if you could help. And I'm like, well, let me see. So we were talking over uh, Facebook Messenger, and I said, give me a minute. So uh, in my room at the time, I had a table. I charged two candles, two white candles, and some incense, and I had a couple quartz crystals. I started praying uh, and sending this prayer energy towards him. And all of a sudden, I seen him typing, and he's like, dude, I don't know what you're doing, but I got a headache all of a sudden. So and I didn't answer. I kept praying, and, you know, eventually... I somehow found myself into like a light unconscious state, like a meditative state almost. I was like, and I caught a, an image of my friend. He was on the, you know, on the computer, but right next to him was this horrible winged creature. It had like dragon scales almost. It had like, they almost looked like metallic sharp claws. It had horns growing out of its chin and head. It had these huge, almost look like bat wings or dragon wings. Um, he had hooved feet. And um, his eyes were bright yellow. And his teeth the mouth spread from, like, his his head was huge, but his mouth spread from, like, ear to ear with sharp teeth. It was the ugliest sight I've ever seen. So I decided to try something. I'm like, okay, spirit, it's just you and me. Now, when you're facing a demon, I wouldn't have even suggested it to myself, but I'm like, you know what? I want to try. And it's always good to have preparation and go to experts when you deal with demonic entities because they are very, very tricky. But I went for it. I saw this 
I, 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 it was kind of like a vision where I zoomed out. I could see my friend, you know, he was like here, the demon was there. I could see his house and I saw underneath the house. I imagined these chains coming out from underneath the house and they were slowly wrapping around his hooves. They were wrapping around his, um, his arms and legs. And I was continuing to pray and I'm like, you have no power here. I dispel all your negative energy and I hereby bind you underneath his house. And it was like growling and trying to like claw. It looked, seemed like it was trying to claw at me. It was like, Rrr. and you know, eventually one of the chains started wrapping around its neck and it started like sinking into the ground. It was like going for my friend. It was like, hey, help me, you know? And it was like, Rrr. and it sunk toward the house. And I just kept wrapping the chains around it until it was like a huge ball of chain. And I'm like, I hereby bind you underneath this house. You may never contact him ever again. So mote it be. And I kept drawing uh, a charged pentacle, you know, and, you know, I'm like, here you go. And he, I'm like, how do you feel now? He's like, I kind of feel better. And I'm like, let me know if it happens again. He never did. Um... We don't really, we don't talk anymore. I, I eventually unfriended him off uh, Facebook because, uh, you know how some people, they just get really busy. Well, we weren't really talking anyway, so we weren't like regular chatting friends. So eventually, so I didn't hear nothing from it ever again. I don't know. It's most likely he, if, even if it did come back, he wouldn't tell me. Um... Uh, but he didn't feel like his energy was sufficient enough because it had been with him so long. And he was so used to it. He always had a dark aura around him. Uh, I didn't know it was a demon, though. I just figured it was, like, part of his personality. But, uh, hopefully he's better. I wish him well. I, I don't, I don't wish him, you know, bad because he don't talk to me. No, no, I, I wish him well. Uh, last time I checked, he was, you know, really working a lot. So hopefully, you know, his job's treating him well and... Hopefully he's got a good life away from his father and uh, hopefully the demon is gone, you know. I didn't I couldn't destroy it, you know. You can't destroy energy, but you can dispel it to take away all its energy and you can bind it. A bind it means to hold it to something, to hold, uh, if you were to do a binding spell for someone who's like a bully. You would bind him to, like, not pick on you anymore. You would bind him to stop doing what he's doing, to bind his um, negative emotions so that he don't feel the need to take them out on you. You would bind those emotions up and prevent him from coming after you. So I basically did a, a unique binding spell. Now, would I suggest any of you do this if you ever come across a demon or know someone who has a demon attached to them? Absolutely not. I was young. I'm immature. I was immature. I'm still basically a beginner in magic. Some of you may be like, well, then why are you teaching this? Well, I do know more than, you know, the average person, but I there's still a lot I got to learn. I don't know the answer to every situation, but I'm not going to come on, you know, the YouTube channel and talk about something I've never done before. No, 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 no. That is, that is something a charlatan would do. And I'm no charlatan. But uh, if you're dealing with a demonic entity, I would reach out. Um, I wouldn't reach out to a ghost hunting group because a ghost hunting group is more for, you know... Uh, to explain why your house is haunted or if your house is haunted or if you're just seeing and hearing things. Um, if you're not sure what kind of spirit you have in the house. Uh, but you can also call psychic medium, which can go through the house and feel or sometimes see the energies that are there and tell you what is going on and maybe tell you what their options are. And I would go to a demonologist if there's possible... Uh, a demonologist around you or a demonologist, someone who studies demons, basically, who's willing to come out and help you, do that. They're not going to charge you anything. 
They're not going to charge you nothing. Uh, get help. You're not going to be able to do it on your own. Not, not against a demon. Human spirits are one thing. Demons, once they have enough energy that they usually scare out of you or they beat out of you, they'll scratch you, they'll beat you, they'll slap you, they'll throw things at you, all to get a response of fear, of vulnerability. They'll try to weaken your um, aura so that they can attack you. You have to be strong. And I know it's hard. I know. Believe me, I I wasn't sure if I was actually ready to deal with this or if I was going to make things worse. I was worried it would possibly come at, after me if it didn't work. And it may have if I hadn't have succeeded. But just because I have a success story doesn't mean you are going to triumph too. Every demon is different. Every demon has a different way of doing things, a different look to it, a different evil. If you've looked in a demology book, de uh, demonology book, there are different demons and they represent different negative emotions, different negative things in a person's life. Sorrow, gluttony, jealousy, vanity, things like that. But, um... Never try to challenge a demon on your own. Sometimes, even if you're really sure that you know what you're doing, it's still dangerous. It is still very, very, very dangerous. Even for the demonologist, even when they know what they're doing, there's always a chance that they can be killed or seriously hurt or possibly even worse, possessed and uh, spiritually oppressed. Why is that worse than being killed or hurt? Because the suffering never stops even after you die. It's a serious thing. You have to be very sure of yourself before you even think about going head to head with a demon. And even then, you have to be extremely cautious. If anything, make it a last resort. But go to the experts first. Go find something. Go on Google. Go on. Uh, there's a lot of them on many social media sites. You can contact them and say, hey, I'm dealing with a problem with a demonic entity in my house. Is this something you can help me with? And they'll tell you yes or no. And if they can't, they may refer you to another group they know. Because usually ghost hunting groups, spiritual groups, they usually have connections. So they can help you. They can guide you. Don't worry. There is always help. Don't lose hope. Losing hope, you'll lose the battle. And it's very hard to recover from that loss. Thank you guys so much for listening to the Spiritual Storytime. Um, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my future videos. Uh, and share this information, this these stories, this knowledge with as many people as you can. Um, uh, family members, friends, uh, anybody you know on social media, you know, that you feel could use this information. Uh, don't force it on them, but if you feel like they would love this, you know, like, hey, I thought you'd like this. Here, I've shared it with you. Or, hey, I know you're going through some spiritual problems. Here, I'm going to share this uh, guy's YouTube channel with you. Maybe he can help you. And if you are here because of uh, someone um, you are referred to by somebody, Reach out to me. Reach out to me. I am here to help. In any way that I can. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I wish nothing but the best of blessings upon you and your loved ones.